Hello again, everybody. Harry Box, the technical trader. Wednesday night, January the 25th. These are the charts of the day. Stocks are still looking good. Some good news from the economy today and the Fed, but more importantly, the rally still rolls on and we made new highs today, despite all predictions about highs in this time period. Uh, perhaps we'll see it soon, but until then, until then, we'll continue to look at the long side. Untramed today followed through. If you note the move last week, it shut up. Pulled back and they had a really quiet inside day yesterday. Today it exploded from $1.76 to 258. Close at 233 up 57 cents or 32.4% uh, or so. And you can see how it stuck its head above and then pulled back to the key high from the September pot spike. Should it get through here, we could see this thing run all the way up to three and three quarters, maybe even four and a half. Although right now I would look for a stock to consolidate somewhere in this zone perhaps for setup. <clears throat> GENE. Big day today. Um, you can see that the long-term falling wedge here basically was broken with a thrust a couple weeks ago, and then it got very quiet and settled down. I got very quiet inside type day yesterday. Only the pop today from 3:30 to 4:35, close at 4:30. Uh, nickel off the high, very nice close. Up a dollar thirty percent on four hundred and forty-six thousand. Very big volume for that stock. It's still traded. As a result, if we do get up and look where we got up to, right near this little spike high. If we get through here, I would look for a move to the next high, up around five and a quarter. My next target. Beyond that, we can see an intermediate move up near seven or better. Airlines were strong today. LCC U.S. Airways popped out of, across a key resistance line. You note that the stock had broken its major down channel back in like, December. It ran up. To just underneath resistance and then slowly pull back to test that line again before reversing. Since then, it's gone from five to nearly eight today, 794 in the last two and a half weeks. Um, the top of the range here was tested today and it did back off of there. So look for the stock to take it out above eight. If that occurs, we can see close to 10 on it. That's my target for LCC. TEX, um, impressive pattern. I like the uh, head and shoulders type bottom. With a couple with an expanded right shoulder area. But more importantly, this key level of resistance here was taken out a couple days ago, and then it sat there and flagged for three days. Reversed yesterday, and then today followed through up $1.67. That's 8.65%. Buy was 6.7 million. It's pretty strong for that stock. At this point, I look for a run up into this zone up around 25 short term. Human genome finally broke out of this down channel today. Note that it ran up to it. A couple of weeks ago, pulled back, tested the moving averages, which have crossed over to the upside. And um, here are broke out of these little wedges in. I'm looking for a move to about 11 and a quarter potentially in this zone here. <clears throat> right up at that line. FLDM, that's fluid dynamics. Very nice day today. Um, take a look at the thrust across this line, which was a triple top, and out of the base perhaps. Next target up around this line here, which is around 16 and a half. That's what I'm looking for short term. And then we'll see. UNG, uh, my recommendation the other day about the possibility of this being a major turnaround. Looks like it's happening. Big volume to the upside here. I followed through yesterday and then a pullback with a slight loss. And then today, right back up 39 cents or 7%. It tagged as high as 5.98, right at my $6 resistance level at the 21 day. But should it get through here, I would look for a move to about 625.30, secondary target up at 695.7 before we get any big pullback. That's what I'm looking for anyway. We'll see. SD, I wanted to show you this today. Um, as the head and shoulder pattern is still intact. Now, the break through the neckline <clears throat> across here um, platform there for a while, but then it rolled over a couple of days ago. That had me worried. There was no follow through to the downside. The stock is quickly reversed, but today took out this declining top sign in this channel, perhaps. And if we can, and by thrusting 49 cents or 6.2 percent, mine was a hefty 13.3 million. Next objective would be to test and perhaps take out this line of resistance up around just under nine, 895 nine zone. If we get through there, we can get a more important move, testing 10 and then 12 and a half. LNG acting well. Another 6.5 million up 67 cents or nearly 6% today. Note that the rising channel is still intact, but we are up against it. Here, this list zone 
um, these highs here at 1256 and then at 1286, which were reached in November, may be tested short term. That's important. And if it does get through, and that, by the way, this high up here back in May was 1281 as well. So triple top up in the zone. Should it get through here, I would look for a quick move to 15. Dendron coming on. Jump 75 cents or 5.4% today on 17 million shares. Note that the key resistance for the last couple of weeks was taken out today. It did back off, but it closed above it. And at this point, my swing trade target at 17 looks very doable. ELGX, one of our top 25 for the year, and you'll see why. Look at this beautiful channel. No complaints, eh? But short-term pattern was in a consolidation. That broke last week. Since then, it's been sitting here flagging with a little bit of a maybe wedge even right there. That popped today when it moved from 1217 to 1287 and closed to 1285, just two cents off the high. The volume was 312,000 shares. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's the highest in four or five days for this stock. And if it does follow through here, based on a long-term pattern, you could see this stock move up towards the 1516 range. Dunkin' Donuts on the move. Notice that the breakout and pull back to the breakout point and, and 50 day moving average it triggered a reversal yesterday that took it from 25 and a half to 26 and three quarters. Today, following through the 2771 and closing at 2763, just pennies off the high on increasing volume. So um, perhaps we're going to see a run up to test this key triple top around 30. 2990, 30 is my short term target. Kit Digital continues to follow through. This breakout across this line a couple of days ago was noted. It pulled back to test that, reversed yesterday, following through today. I'm now looking for a move up to the 12, 12 and a quarter, maybe 12 and a half area. One of our favorite oil stocks now is uh, Northern Oil and Gas after BEXP, Brigham was taken out. You can see the massive head and shoulders bottoming pattern. The breakout here occurred today, which is testing this high. And that was 27.70 reached um, November the 8th. Here we are two and a half months later. We reached 27.48 today and close at 27.07. But keep an eye on this level because the takeout here should lead us up to my next target up around 30, 30 and a quarter. Beyond that, 33 and three quarters, 34. But beautiful rising channel indicates one, two, three, four, fifth wave in process. We may very well get up here and test that. SCSS on our top 25 as well. Beautiful rising channel. Finally broke out of this wedge, got up to the top of the channel, backed off from the little wedge. And yesterday popped, today following through with 65 cents. Note that it may be coming through the top of the channel. If it does, I'm looking for a move to near 29, 28 and a half anyway. PCYC, another one of our top 25, which is also a swing trade. It broke out, it pulled right back to that point, and now it's running. Up another 44 cents today. 800,000 shares, but I'm still looking for more upside. And we're around 23 plus. And lastly today, WPRT came very close. It actually reached my 39.5 swing trade target zone. And so we can consider that trade complete, although there's no question in my mind the way this looks. Um, if it does pump, punch through here, we can see a stock in the mid to high 40s before not too long. And that's it for tonight. There will be um, one more charts of the day tomorrow, but on Friday, I'll be off the desk for the Warden Seminars in San Diego. Bye-bye.